Welcome back to Sacred Success Salon, where we are speaking with our amazing guest experts about how to lead and thrive right now, how to prepare to download the channel and channel the solutions for the new earth as solid leaders. I am your host, Anna Kowalska, and today I welcome back, I'm so delighted to have back in the salon, our guest, Dr. Amira Hall. Welcome, Amira. Thank you. It's my pleasure and such an honor to be with you, Anna. Thank you. I'm so excited. So let me just say a few words about who you are so our audience knows who they're listening to. Doc, Reverend Dr. Amira Hall, I love I loved all your diversity in, in your background. She's a renowned psychic medium, medical intuitive, and manifestation mentor. She's been working for almost 30 decades devoted to mind, body, and spirit healing and manifesting. You can read more below let's get into the conversation because we're already in it <laughs> juicy juicy stuff bubbling up I can feel it yeah so so we just started before we clicked the record button Amira I was sharing with you about the the energy of this particular edition and you're like hold on something's coming through so I'm gonna give you the space <laughs> yeah well I mean what's your question for me great, great so the question is the old systems are going away what worked up until now is no longer going to be working. And we are preparing those of us who are awake and aware to any degree, know that there are new solutions dropping in. And we get to be the channels, the open channels for it. Because 2024 will be a whole new level of change. So what do you see? And when I share this with you, what do you see that's possible for us as we end this year and enter into the next one? So infinite possibilities are available for us. However, I see the biggest challenge that we're all facing is to learn how to be present. Mm -hmm. uh, I see a rapid inflow and, and discordant energies that are ungrounding us. And from what we thought we might've been grounded, I, you know, this is, this is my pet peeve and also a recurring theme that I see with absolutely everyone, even though people feel like they're right here, right now, so much of their spirit is not present in their auric field. That's what I see and observe. Mm. And so many people can say, let's say, yes, they're going to click on the button and they're going to watch and they might get distracted or the, the link doesn't work or they're all of a sudden their system and their so so many things are interfering with us in getting what it is that we want just let's mm -hmm. say listening to this conversation yeah. and regardless of what it is that we want we're not present enough or let me say it in another way there's not enough of our spirit condensed in our auric field to anchor in this new energy mm -hmm. so what's ungrounding us um our trauma our drama, mm -hmm. our belief systems, like when we, what's possible for next year? Well, what is infinite? What does that mean? I mean, mm -hmm. we're trying to linearly describe or, or even get a framework of what is possible, but we have to sort of get away from these perceptions mm -hmm. of limits. Yeah. And so with all of that changing, my my go-to thing, and I've been saying this for the last 15 years, and I see this as accelerating, is that we have to learn how to be grounded in a new way. We have to learn how to ground these new energies. And what happens is it's really, to me, like all the energetic centers, I think there's new chakras coming online. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's my perception of it, or the chakras are operating different, which means we have to learn how to manage the energy coming into the physical vehicle. Mm. And so that isn't going away. The body isn't, well, some people are leaving early. Some people yeah. are snapping and going. I'm seeing a rapid increase of that. Mm -hmm. So how do we manage and, and dance around or, or, you know, experience death? Um, whether it's a death of a dream yeah. or a career or a loved one, you yeah. know, all of those energies are pulling us back into old beliefs and perceptions. Mm -hmm. We're trying to move forward and, and interpret this new energy and create new possibilities, which are infinite, yeah. but we're in the way. 
Yeah. We're in the way of how we perceive it and yeah. what we can allow. If our energies are not receptive, and, and that's the other thing that I see most people, women especially, we're not energetically able to receive those infinite possibilities. Why? Because we have limits set on our energetic field. Unconsciously, of course, you know, there's 10,000 to 10 billion unconscious thoughts that we're dealing with in any minute. Yeah. So we think we're being present, but there's all these energies taking yeah. our beautiful spirit that wants to play and go yeah. explore all these possibilities. You know, oh, this is so great. This this is so powerful. I don't know that I've ever heard anybody say it this way, Amira. You could be present, but your spirit, not your whole spirit is present. When you said it, I had this visceral experience of right a new level of presence. Somebody could say, I'm present, I'm listening. But the spirit could just be a, a part of the spirit, not the whole entire spirit, which is what I think will it will take. And based on what I'm hearing, you see it as well. That's what it will take to really be open to receive whatever it needs to come through us. Well, and what happens is it, it increases our vibration. So Let's back up a wee bit when we're like, okay, I'm going to use an example. I've got one client that I've been working with for one year. Exactly. Mm -hmm. She came to me and she was a mess because her son committed suicide a mm -hmm. year ago. All right. So that was a huge trauma for her. Um, she was a manager in a um, law legal office and a real bright woman was barely functional and doing the work together. She just wanted to get out of her misery. And I was like that after my near-death experience when I lost yeah. everything. I just wanted to get that, hurry up and get it out. I, I want to feel good and happy and have my life back, right? She was the same way. So looking at her, clearing the energy, clearing the energy, working in my classes, she would listen to the class and she would say, the second, she'd go back the second time, she goes, I know I paid complete attention to it, but I didn't hear Amira say that. Mm -hmm. So that's an example of her spirit being taken somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like if you just think of Hawaii right now, yeah, your spirit goes there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And our spirit is playful and excitable and it wants to create and it wants to experience every kind of thing possible, mm -hmm. infinite possibilities. Yeah. But it won't come in and be connected with the energetics of our, our chakras unless the body feels safe. Mm. And so with the, these changes that we're experiencing, we have to be able to let go of that trauma in a way that the body can start letting go of more, letting go of more, letting go of more. And it's incredibly subtle, but it creeps up on us. So what's happening is we let go of that 10 billion unconscious stuff more and more and more and more. And that just allows our spirit to come closer. And when that spirit can plug in and there's a direct, stronger connection influencing the chakra system, we're instant manifestors. Mm, I got yeah. goosebumps. That's yeah. how we get into the flow. That's where the magic happens. And, you know, you hear of ancient... Um, wise teachers uh mystics from the east how they were they could instantly manifest an emerald mm -hmm. or they could teleport and all of these amazing incredible spiritual abilities will be there at hand for us mm -hmm. but it's our vessel that needs to be prepared yeah and oh. as resonance comes and so the body has to feel safer so it can receive these higher vibrations and so that some people talk about the veil thinning. I don't think the veil is going to be any thinner. I think it's our energy rising. And so we can see into the other world or see possibilities that were never visible to us before mm -hmm. or potentials mm -hmm. because we're raising our vibration and we can just have mm -hmm. more. I call it having. I, I ref That's kind of a version of how much goodness can you tolerate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much possibility can you receive or tolerate? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. having the potential, the energetic potential to magnifying or magnetically attracting that to you is mm -hmm. a little bit different than receiving it. Yeah. So we have these resistances. Oh, well, you know, I, I think that's a bit too big for me or that house is too grand or, mm -hmm. or that uh, car. What do I need that for? I caught myself doing that before. You know, yeah. and so now it's about 
being able to literally have the car delivered mm-hmm. title free yeah right having yeah. it just because yeah you yeah. can always give it away if you <laughs> yeah if you don't want it's it. really stepping into it it's really yeah. i feel you know i i mean i i wrote this this book manifesting miracles mm-hmm. one and this is you know i did it backwards i started teaching people how to do it and then i wrote the book this mm-hmm. is basically a, a guidebook for my mentoring students but it's like a step by step guidebook and it it really is a preparatory um facilitative um journey that we're on and the more we're able to clear the more our vibration comes up the more we're able to clear the more our vibration comes up mm-hmm. and it is about the art of being in the flow yeah and i think 2024 is going to be no different mm-hmm. i think we're going to be challenged with greater greater challenges than we've ever seen yeah in decades yeah and um and many of us are wusses mm-hmm. I mean, i'm just saying that collectively oh, i agree big yeah. fat babies yeah and um it's kind of pathetic mm-hmm. you know it's because there's and and hey i guess i'm a spiritual warrior <laughs> um you know yeah amira the xenia the warrior yeah uh, the warrior princess but you know it doesn't mean we lose that feminine flow Mm -hmm. and the feminine energy is that magnetic energy that is the sweet spot i think yeah yeah and men men have it too the feminine so it's not about being a girl body but um yeah I think I think growing some balls even if you're in a girl's body and um and being right on point Mm -hmm. and hey there's lots of times where we're not we're not on point because we don't know what the point is yeah but but the, the job is to get to the point yeah so there are a few things that you just said that I want to pull forward because I think they were really powerful one The way you described the veil is not thinning, it's that we are raising our vibration. When I hear that, I'm like, wow, so I'm no longer, because we're getting into this out of this conversation of I'm dependent on something outside of me. If the veil is thinner and that enables me to see things, then I am dependent on the veil being thinner. When I can tune into, no, no, I am raising my vibration, which is why I can see better. Now it puts me in a position of empowerment. It's up to me. It's not really up to the veil thinning. It's up to it's up to me, right? And, and, you you know, and you've got mm-hmm. these spiritual people that one are so fucking serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that's really been bugging me lately. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Clearly, how can you be spiritual and see and so serious? Because once you get really happy, I mean, our spirit wants to be happy yeah. and joyful right so why are we taking this stuff so serious Mm -hmm. and the other thing is when you realize when you have seniority and you're in authority with your energy system Mm -hmm. then you call on your guides it's not like oh well I gotta ask my guides if I should do that or if that's a good thing no you should know yourself it's not like your guide's gonna say yes or no yeah oh I love where you're going with this keep going this is so great well (laughs) that's the the work I do is teach people how to develop their clairvoyance it's Mm -hmm. a level of seniority it's the highest spiritual level you can access it's not none of this feeling stuff and i'm highly sensitive don't get me yeah. wrong I'm, yeah. I'm a big bad empath <laughs> yeah uh, and struggled my whole life with it but yeah. once you understand how to step into that superpower mm-hmm. of your clairvoyance mm-hmm. and, and being in command of that you can say hello to your guide you can use your guides to heal I call on my guides when I can't reach the top cupboard and I, you know, I'm tired of reaching the spatula and pulling <laughs> down the blanket with the spatula, right? <laughs> or, or, or can't get the necklace at the back of, you yeah. know, you're doing up a necklace and your hair's in it and your shirt's in it. So then I call them, hey, can you help me with, you know, getting this clasp done? And boom, that it happens. So I have fun with my guides. I send them to help people. What mm-hmm. I, you know, instead of sending my empathic energy. Yeah. When I feel somebody struggling or in their pain, yeah. I just send my guides. So yeah. it's actually more of a healing master. 
Mm. So no, I don't use crystals. I do love crystals. I don't use tarot cards. I don't use the props yeah. because guess what guys, when we leave this meat suit, we can't take our crystals with us. Yeah. We can't take any of those props mm -hmm. as much fun as they are. And they're great when you just want to play yeah. around just mm -hmm. but the seniority and the vibration the consciousness is all you're taking with you yeah and the tools I take I use in my dreams my mm -hmm. students all tell me about how they've practiced or used the tools the bad guy mm -hmm. was coming after them and they pulled out that wand and and so that's the consciousness that we take with us mm -hmm. and interdimensionally because that's the thing that most of us forget yeah. Even if we're reminded that we're a spiritual being having a human experience, mm -hmm. um, it's, I think, going to be more of a prevalent theme to mm -hmm. be reminded, um, to mm -hmm. allow the emotions, to allow ourselves that sensitivity, mm -hmm. but also to buck up mm -hmm. and to realize that we, we need to step into the true power mm -hmm. of who we are. Yeah. And that's what I'm hearing in what you're sharing, Amira. It, it is this journey of like, really, like, let's just stop talking about personal power and empowerment. Let's really own it. <laughs> be it. Yeah. Be it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, it's, um, I, I, I said, sorry, Anna, but the, yeah, the, the question is, how do we be it? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not with the analyzer. It's not with your mm -hmm. intellect. It cannot mm -hmm. be done the same way that we've done everything else. Many of the listeners are highly, you know, educated and yeah. well-trained in whatever yeah. facility or career, but we can't do this next step the same way we did this phase. Mm -hmm. It, it mm -hmm. will not happen. Yeah. And I don't give a shit how many self-help books you read mm -hmm. or how many self-development books or talk therapy you go to. It's not going to help. Yeah. I love your fire today. <laughs> You fire it up today. I was having challenges with some emails myself today. So, but you know, I kept with it. I just kept with it. It's mm -hmm. just like some links wouldn't work. Zoom wasn't work. I mean, you know, all the yeah the go tos weren't working. So, you mm -hmm. know, hey, we get we will get through it. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm hearing, so so there is another thing that you that you said, and I want to bring us back to it because I think it's so powerful and it's so in alignment with with what we are talking about. The more that you are in your power, I've heard this term before, and I'm hearing it in the spirit as you talk about it is the spiritual maturity. You said seniority, but it's the spiritual maturity, right? It's like, I am the one that is commanding the energy. I don't need somebody else to come and tell me it's okay. I don't need my guides to approve and guide me. No, no. Yet guides are waiting for my direction. That's when, right. right. When I am Absolutely. owning, like especially spiritual maturity. It's like, it's like a parent. I mean, you got to tell your children, right? Like they don't know until you teach them how to be with certain things. And I don't want to put it in a child parent hierarchy, but that's, it's the maturity, right? I often say that we're in kindergarten and even, <laughs> even, even my advanced students that have been with me for a couple of years, we still all, yeah. and myself included, yeah. we're still, we're still kindergartners. Yeah. We're just, dumbass silly humans you know <laughs> we're, we're we're trying to figure it out it's the truth now as we step into this we're, we're going to high school Woo yeah. the energy's accelerating and you know yeah. no we're still in kindergarten you guys yeah. we've got to learn the abcs of managing and functioning our energy mm. because that is how we are manifesting that is how we are creating every experience that we have whether it's relationship or money or or health it, it's a career. It's all there mm -hmm. in our energetic vibration. And so if we don't understand it and know when something's interfering or jeopardizing it, mm -hmm. then like if let's say somebody, a coach you've hired is an, as an influencer, they don't know it. But mm -hmm. I see this happen all the time. Mm -hmm. We were talking about other training programs earlier, but I, I see them playing what I call a guru game. Okay, and let me explain that. Mm -hmm. As as in, let's say East in the East, they have gurus, right? But yeah. in the in the West, this this um, game is being propagated with a teacher, a leader, and what they're doing is they're using their energetic cord and they're tapping into people's third chakra mm -hmm. to what control them, have mm -hmm. power over them, mm -hmm. and influence them in terms of taking action that they want them to take. 
And a lot of times what happens is the, the student or the participant will actually feel like, well, I don't know what to do. I got to call that person. I got to call that coach. Mm -hmm. I've got to ask what and how to do it or look at their one, two, three, four. These are the steps I've got to follow. So it's, it's like you were saying that you heard someone say to you, no, what do you want to create? What is it you want? And so that, that guru game is continued Mm -hmm. and people don't even realize they're sucked into it. Yeah. Yep. And it could be a guru game at your corporation. If you're Yeah. And I think most often it works because I want to, I want to make sure that we even out the plane. I think that the game works because both, both party, both parties are willing to play yes. it. Right. This yes. is where the, it won't, it won't work when you take back your personal power. Exactly. And you have the spiritual wisdom and maturity to yeah. see the game or realize, no, that's not a good choice for me. Yes. I accept the teaching, but I'm not going to, I'm choosing not to apply that. Yes, yes, or yes. I'll choose to apply it, but with a twist. Right. Now, and I'm not saying the tools that that particular leader's giving might not work, but it's it's the game that people are getting sucked into. Mm-hmm. And what happens a lot of times, especially in the spiritual and religious context, is that the guru is channeling energy, higher powers of energy. Mm -hmm. And people get sucked into believing that it's only through the guru that they can receive enlightenment. Yes. So really what they're doing is the gurus tapping into their crown chakra. Mm -hmm. So instead of them tapping into the direct divine supreme source, they're going through the guru and up. So the guru is sucking energy from the the participant Mm -hmm. and the person is not getting their enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The only way yeah. to get that is having complete alignment and direct connection. Which yeah. is, people tell me, oh, I, I'm I'm not using the guru, or that was years ago, or I'm I'm not, and I can see it. I can see it in their crown chakra. And they will never excel or be on their own path until that connection is broken. Yeah. Could you equate this? Would you equate this the same kind of connection? Because you know. In the world, so this is spiritual world, but there is there are all the other systems like people relying on government, people relying Absolutely. on authorities, right? So and, and as we're you going were... to see more of that, especially with people, the mid the middle class becoming more and more dependent on the government. Oh well, yeah. I lost my job because of COVID, or I you know this or that yeah. uh, excuses, and that's where I say you got to grow some yeah. you know famous. Yeah. Is, is get real and decide what you want because mm-hmm. that's the guru game happening yeah. and they're controlling your crown chakra. Yeah. Your spiritual authority has been thwarted. Yeah. Yeah. And it's our job now to to reclaim it. And for that, you're right, we're going to need some big bowls and amp up on our courage and decide I am going to be the buck stops with me. You know that the term that <laughs> very old term it's it's so incredibly subtle Mm -hmm. and that's where we have to clear some of the old patterns of and it's perceptions of who's your daddy Mm. and and who's going to take care of you and those pictures of um non-truths that have permeated you know probably thousands of years and we're Mm -hmm. in that the threshold of shifting that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it can feel scary. It can feel scary, Mm -hmm. but there again, if we have the right tools then to apply them yes, and and again, energetic tools. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So as we wrapping up, because our time goes by so fast as we wrapping up, I love where this conversation went and I love where we bring it back as long have the tools, be in spaces where you are supported to be, to be this, to, to acknowledge yourself as the spiritual seniority, spiritual maturity, the one who can decide on their own. So can we dive into your gift? (laughs) Yeah, it's all about that. It's about helping you clear those energies that are foreign to you, um, patterns, belief systems, um, just stuff that we absorb through through our daily life. I call it an energy shower. I, it's my mm-hmm. stress buster. Yeah. And I think you're going to share the link. But yes. 
It's it's really a go to um, tool. I all my students use it. It's mm -hmm. their go to. It's been a favorite for over two decades now, mm -hmm. and I've got a whole series of quantum tools like that. But mm -hmm. it's the foundation. It will give you a fast, quick. Um, it's a guided visualization, but it's a it's different. It's it's a it's a tool and it's a practice to actually make something happen that's different. Yeah. So in, it's just not about your spirit leaving the body. It's a training, training wheels to keep the spirit present with the body. Yeah. Which, oh, so amazing. Do you call it a, do you call it a spirit shower? I call it the stress buster. The stress and, buster. And, and, and yeah, it's your daily energy shower. I love that visual, that, that energy shower, stress buster, energy shower. I just, I'm very visual. So when you say yeah, that, yeah. I just like, oh, but at the same time, the stress buster brings in the energy. So amazing. And it's the tools like that, which you said, you just said you have, you have a whole arsenal <laughs> of tools to support us in where we are going. So amazing. And I know that's exactly what we need to, to create infinitely in 2024. And the most important thing is learning how to be grounded. And that is included in the stress buster. So oh. really it's so vital. It's so vital. Yeah. So amazing. So you guys, the link is below. See the button below this video, golden button. Click the button. You'll get into, yes, the magic, the golden magic button. <laughs> Love it. Click the button, get, get into Amira's world, begin with the stress buster, the energetic shower, and then continue on with her as she teaches you all the tools. Cause that's exactly, that's going to be the difference between those who thrive in 2024 and those who whatever the other are struggle with mediocrity that, that's a good way to put it struggle with mediocrity and that could take various different levels <laughs> and it's yep. not all pretty <laughs> no it's a gentle way it's why you said it i'm like that's a gentle way to put it struggle with mediocrity because we we see that there it, it's not going to be pretty for a lot of people but tools like yours will definitely support us in leading and thriving in 2024 so amazing thank you amira <laughs> thank you thank you so much it's such a joy to be with you and you're doing such incredible work and i'm delighted to be part of the community of people following you mm -hmm. thank you amira so amazing make sure one more time click the button claim the gift get the stress buster energetic shower all the tools to make sure that you are set up for 2024 thank you again amira and we'll see you at the next conversation Bye for now. Got it.